Welcome to City Year. My name is Kyle Mahoney. And I'm Rachel Halpin. We are proud core members serving with City Year Chicago. You are currently watching a live interactive uh, call-in show brought to you by CanTV21. Um, during the next 25 minutes, uh, you'll have the opportunity to call in and ask us questions or question our guests at 312-738-1060. Uh, just in case you haven't watched before, City Year is a nonprofit organization that unites young people of all backgrounds for a year of full time service and leadership development, giving them the skills and opportunities to change the world. City Year's vision is that one day the most commonly asked question among young people is, Where are you doing your year of service? And here in Chicago, um, Core members like myself and Rachel um, serve primarily in the Chicago public school system, working as literacy tutors um, and after school mentors. However, um, we do also engage in large scale physical service days um, in which we uh, we do projects ranging anywhere from light construction, landscaping, painting um, to muraling and art therapy on those days. Um, so our core members get to do a lot of diverse service. Um, over the course of our service year, our core members will serve at least 1,700 hours, though many of us go over that, um, and will earn an education award of just about $5,000. For more information about City Year, the service we provide Chicago, and information on how to get involved, please visit us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. There are a lot of different ways to get involved, whether you're interested in serving with us for a day or joining the Corps for a whole year, all the information you need can be found at our website. Again, my name is Kyle Mahoney and you are watching City Year Chicago. Um, joining us now is John Rosé, Admissions Manager for City Year Chicago. John, thank you for joining us. Kyle, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, so. John, how long have you been with City Year Chicago? Kyle, this is actually the start of my sixth year here with City Year, so I've definitely been here for uh, quite a long time so far. Yeah, that's, that is a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. um, so what different roles have you had in your time at City Year Chicago? Uh, well, here at City Year, um, I've held uh, a couple of different roles. I've served in the capacity of a core member, senior core member, um, as our recruitment manager, and now I'm currently serving as our admissions manager here with City Year Chicago. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and remember everybody, our phone lines are open. Um, if you have any questions for John or for myself or any of our other guests tonight, uh, please give us a call at 312-738-1060. Um, so are a lot of staff members of City of Chicago also um, alumni? Great question, Kyle. Uh, we actually, we currently right now, we have 10 uh, City of alumni on our staff. So wow. that's, uh, you know, a testament to, you know, our, our level of um, commitment over the year, um, as well as on um, our training in order to, you know, build uh, really good young uh, professionals, I would say. Nice, nice. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your job as admissions manager at City of Chicago. Sure. Uh, well, in an, a nutshell, essentially, I'm in charge of um, um, a lot of our recruiting, um, a lot of our s selecting, uh, um, admitting as well as retaining um, all of the young idealists that uh, you know come to cityyear.org um, and apply and hopefully um, apply to City Year's, uh Chicago. Yeah well that's that's quite a bit of responsibility you've got on your hands Absolutely. there. Um, so what are the basic requirements to become a City Year Corps member? Sure absolutely. Um, Anyone who's interested in applying to uh, City Year needs to be in between the ages of 17 and, and 24 years of age. Um, we obviously, we're looking for individuals who have you know, graduate degrees, college degrees, some college as well as high school graduates. Um, they need to be able to dedicate full-time full, um, full -time 10 months and over 1,700 hours minimum of service to uh, uh, Chicago areas of communities. Um, they need to be obviously U.S. citizens or legal permanent resident aliens, um, have served no more than two terms in AmeriCorps prior to applying to City Year Chicago, okay. as well as to agree to all of our background and security checks. Gotcha. Um, so in addition to those basic requirements, what mm -hmm. sort of qualities do you look for in a, in a city or applicant? Great. Um, I see first and foremost is uh, uh, we're definitely looking for individuals level of uh, commitment. Um, we need um, all the young people who apply to our program to be leaders um, as well as um, excellent followers as well. You need to be really passionate about service. You really need to be self-motivated. You really need to want to be here and to and to work uh, the type of long hours that it really takes in order to uh, really build a real powerful service model here. Um, the type of individuals we're also looking for are the type that, uh, that seek out uh, challenges and also try to 
find those powerful resolutions as well. Cool. Um, so I think we've got a caller, right. so we'll go ahead and put them on the air. Hi, welcome to City of Chicago. Hi, um, John, you mentioned that you do some college recruitment. Um, what colleges do you go to and when will the next college recruitment fair be? Great question. Um, if you ever want to know more information about um, our next recruitment efforts, you can always email our recruitment department at uh, Chicago Recruitment at CityEar.org. Um, I know that uh, we have a recruitment event next week, which is uh, Wednesday, and we'll be getting to that shortly. Um, so if you want to know about more about our recruiting efforts, I would I would definitely come to one of our open houses. Uh, but we do recruit from all the local Chicago area colleges. Um, so that's pretty much everything uh, I would say within like 20 miles of the city. Uh, that's pretty much what our site locally is in charge. Of, but we do recruit essentially from all from pretty much every college across of the country. Great question. Thank you. I think we do have another caller, so we'll go ahead and put them on the air. Hi oh. there. Hi, welcome to City of Chicago. Hi, uh, I'm not in Chicago, but I am following you guys on Twitter. City of Chicago on Twitter. I heard that John Rose was on, so I just wanted to give a shout out. My question for John is, uh, what uh, is your favorite application question and which one gets the best responses? Which one do you like reading the most? Which one do That's I like reading question. the most? Um, I think the question that I like reading the most is the one that, that, that really makes the applicant kind of leap off the paper. You know, obviously we receive a lot of a applications um, over the course of the year. Um, I think the ones that really speak to, you know, individuals love, love commitment, their type of service, um, the type that really kind of shows uh, where they're at and, and where they'd really like to be. So I really don't have a favorite one. Uh, more so, I really like to read about you know people's uh, uh, creative. Um, um, I really like to hear about all, all of the creative um, stories uh, that that really make up uh, what I diverse uh, group of young people that we like to put in service. So I really don't have a favorite question. Um, I really, but I love uh, reading all of our uh, unique stories every single year. Yeah, yeah, I, we've got some good ones too. I know that. Um, so, John, we've talked a little bit about the commitment that it takes yeah. to be a core member. Um, so, do core members receive any sort of compensation for the service that they do? Yes. Yeah. Uh, fre frequently, people um, um, confuse um, vo vo our volunteer model uh, with obviously, you know, not not getting paid. But obviously, th that's not the case. Um, all of our core members receive a biweekly living stipend. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, the educational award, uh, which is awarded to all of our city year core members who uh, complete the full seventeen hundred hours, and that's right around five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, all of our core members receive a free T-Mobile uh, cell phone, uh, health insurance, student loan forbearance, uh, networking and professional uh, uh, development, leadership development trainings, as well as a, f uh, a full Timberland and Aramark uniform. Yeah, yeah, we, we do get the, uh, the Tims, which you guys will see in a little bit when we do the boot question. Um, so tell us a little bit about what the application process looks like. Sure. Um, I would say for all of you out there who are interested in applying to, please go to www.cityyear.org. Uh, from there, um, you can um, register and apply online. Uh, the application uh, looks, uh, we're going to ask you to fill out information about your personal background, your, your work and volunteer history, uh, to uh, complete two essays, as well as to fill out two, um, i sorry, have two reference forms filled out and mailed back to us. Um, as soon as possible. Cool. Um, so you mentioned reference forms. Could you give us a little bit more detail? What sure. kind of references are you looking for? Sure, sure. Um, well, we actually have our own in internal form that, that we would love you know, for individuals uh, to um, get filled out uh, by someone who's obviously not not a friend or family member, but rather by someone who has seen them in any sort of a professional uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. um, and then they would fill out these, fill out, uh, um, these forms which we do need to, um, and then uh, mail those in. And then once they are received, um, we'll move forward with their application. Cool. Um, so when you say we're going to move forward once that application is received, what's the next step generally after sure. after that sure. happens? Uh, once a completed application uh, is received, um, our department will contact you in order to, to set up uh, uh, your first screening interview uh, that typically um, uh, takes place, I would say, um, a couple, uh, maybe a week to a couple weeks after your full application is received, and that needs to definitely include your letters of reference. Cool. Um, so, what is the next application deadline for the 2010 sure. 2011 sure. Um It's actually coming up really soon. So, our next application deadline will be February 15th. Um, okay. Notification um, on the, on your uh, on the status of your application will go out. March 15th, and we will need to hear back from all of our offers uh, by March 29th. Awesome. So, yeah, that's coming up pretty quickly Absolutely. then. 
Um, so City Year has 19 sites in the U.S. Um, if somebody were to send an application, does that application apply to all of those sites or do they have to pick a specific location? Great question. Um, within the application process, um, each applicant has two options. Uh, they can either apply to where most needed and uh, our headquarters will place you um, in the place where there actually is the most need. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can select one of the 19 U.S. sites to choose from. Uh, but once you do send your application to one place, it, it, um, um, no other city or sites um, have the access to your application. Cool. Um, so, who should people contact at City Year, um, City Year Chicago specifically, if they are interested in applying or they want to join up, and join the corps? Sure, absolutely. Well, if anyone has any general questions, you can definitely email us at Chicago Recruitment at City Year.org, or you can contact our recruitment manager, Ms. Stephanie Chavez, um, at 312-423-7179. Cool. Um, all right, thank you very much. And just so everybody can see, uh, if you do go to our website, www.cityyear.org slash join us, uh, you can get that information about joining up as well. Um, so we're getting pretty close to the end of this segment. And uh, so that means we got to give you the boot, John. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. Um, but we'd like to have you pick a question out sure. of one of our nice, uh, nice Timberland boots that everybody receives. That's great. That's great. All right. All right. And the question is, who wins? Uh, Chicago Bears playing baseball or the Chicago Cubs playing football? Wow, that's a really hard question, but a really easy answer, Kyle. The answer is the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> a real easy All right. question. So, yeah, John is a little bit biased towards Cleveland sports. So I right. think I think we'll have him do just one more sure. quick Love boot to. question Love before to. we to. kick him out All of right. here. Um. What's your favorite Chicago touristy spot? Uh, well, the fact that our office is right by uh, Millennium Park uh, downtown, I think that that would have to be one of my favorites. It's great to be able to go outside for lunch and be able to see something that's so unique uh, to our city and yet that so many other people from other cities get to enjoy as well. Cool. Awesome. Well, we are running out of time, but thank you very much, John, for joining us. It's Absolutely. been a pleasure. It's been a great experience. Um, and now after a short break, we will continue with City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. I am change. People tell me I can be anything. A doctor, a lawyer, anything. But for the next year, this is my office. This is my day, and this is who I am. I am change, and this is where I belong. Hi, uh, welcome back to City of Chicago. I am Kyle Mahoney, and the phone lines are open. I would remind you again, um, feel free to call in with questions. Um, the number is 312-738-1060. Uh, joining us now is Lily Pineda. She's a senior corps member serving at the Bethune School of Excellence. Uh, Lily, thank you for joining us. Happy to be here, Kyle. Cool. Um, so, Lily, let's just start out with basic info, um, who you are, where you're from, well, um, like you said, my name is Lily. I'm 21 years old. I grew up in the Logan Square community, which is northwest of Chicago. Um, right now, I'm currently living in the Bucktown area, not too far away. So that's pretty much it. Awesome, awesome. Um, so did you have a lot of experience with uh, doing service before you came to City Year? Well, before City Year, um, growing up with um, the church that I went to when I was younger, um, we did do some service at the time I was pretty young, so I didn't really know what we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, as you grew older, I understood it um, very well. And even through high school, some of our um, requirements were to do service. So, so th that was pretty much my experience with service. Nice. Um, so everybody kind of joined City Year through a different medium. Um, how did you find out about City Year, and how did you first hear about the organization? Well, before City Year, I was working at Corner Bakery Cafe as um, in the catering department, and one of uh, fellow co-workers, lovely lady, her name was Lynetta Parks, she um, told me that her son was in the Young Hero Service Learning Program, mm -hmm. um, which she, you know, just talking, and uh, she told me about that, and she told me how I can get involved. So I researched, did some research online, um, and it, it seemed pretty interesting, um, but I didn't do much after that. 
Um, so then after that, I was working one day and um, I was ringing somebody up and it was actually a City Year Corps member. Oh, nice. And um, I took the opportunity to ask her how her experience was and, um, you know, if she had any suggestions or advice. I told her that I was interested and she just really um, encouraged me to apply and that I was it was going to be an unforgettable experience. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure it probably has been. Um, now did you attend an open house to learn more? Actually I did. I did. I was very s skeptical at first about what I might get myself into. Um, so after I looked it up I um, I saw that there was an open house coming up and I took some time to um, check it out and I did I remember this open house was with John Rose, um, and it was about three of us there, so it really opened up my eyes to um, City Year as an organization, and I know that's what really got me to apply. Cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of other organizations out there that are full-time um, service organizations, like Public Allies, um, the VISTA program, which is through AmeriCorps. What made you choose City Year as opposed to some of these other programs? Well, um, like I said, after doing some research and just reading about it, um, the just different, a lot of different things. You know, diversity um, is always something that I really valued, mm -hmm. um, which I thought was always very important. And being able to work with other people around my same age, I was very um, excited to do that because at my current job, I was the youngest there, oh. so I was seen as the baby. But. Um, <laughs> So that, you know, those are some things, and I was just very interested in working with children, getting some experience. I needed, you know, some guidance as to what I wanted to do um, as a career. Um, and, you know, also the scholarship, which is, you know, something that I also, after City Area, want to pursue um, more education and um, everything. It just sounded like perfect for me, perfect fit, and I just had a really good feeling about it. Awesome, awesome. Um, so... How did your friends and family react when you said that you were going to sign up for a full-time year of service? Well, actually, everyone is very supportive. And, um, you know, my most important people to me is my mom and my sister. And actually, last year when I served as a core member, they went to a lot of our events. Um, they attended a few after-school um, days. And, you know, my family was always very supportive. My friends were as well. Cool. Um, so did you find the application process to be particularly challenging? No, actually, um, it only takes a few minutes online. I, um, it, I found it pretty easy, uh, you know, just getting your recommendations and everything was pretty easy. Cool. So you mentioned to us already that you were born and raised in Chicago. Right. Um, so what is it like to serve in the city that you grew up in? Well, Kai, it's actually very, definitely very gratifying. Um, and it's, you know, I have great love for my city, Chicago, and, you know, being able to serve with a lot of the wonderful ch children that live here, it's just um, a wonderful experience so far. Awesome. Um, so just one more reminder, our phone lines are open. If you have questions for myself, for Lily, um, please call in 312-738-1060. Um, so Lily, how long have you been with City Year? Um, like I said, last year I served as a core member. This year I'm a senior core member, so this is my second year, city year. Cool. Um, so what's the difference um, in your experience so far between last year when you said you served as a core member and this year now that you're serving as a senior core member? Well, um, my year as a core member was very focused on just my roles, my role in the team, which was you know to create lesson plans for our after-school program, to tutor my six third graders. Um, this year as a senior core member um, and team leader, I oversee the after-school program, so I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Um, also, um, make sure that the leadership development of our, of my team is, um, also, you know, something that is progressing and, you know, just overseeing our school partnership and um, just making sure that it, everything is all right. Yeah, sounds like you gained quite a bit of responsibility between last year and this year. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what advice would you give to somebody out there that's thinking about applying to join us at City Year? Um, some advice 
you know, definitely do it and, you know, just be ready for full-time commitment, full-time service. Um, and, you know, you should be proactive with your leadership, different leadership opportunities and, um, you know, just get the best of it. Cool. Um, I think we have a caller, so we're going to go ahead and put them on. Hello. Hello. Welcome to City of Chicago. Thanks. Uh, so, so you've mentioned a lot about senior core members and core members. Uh, does it have to be, do you have to do city or two years to be a senior core member? Um, I'll ask you this one, actually. Um, no, you don't. Um, I actually am a first year senior core member, so um, I was lucky enough uh, that when I applied, um, John and the other people in the admissions department saw something in me and went ahead and asked me to apply to be a senior core member. Um, However, um, based on my experience as a first year and jumping into the senior core position, I will say that I think it is highly beneficial to have served a year in the core first before coming to be a senior core member. Um, City Year has a very strong culture, and I think that it is much easier to acclimate to that, um, especially as a senior core when you're supposed to be modeling that. Um, it's much easier to come into it after having done a full year in the core, I believe. Um, that was a good question. Um, so, let's see here. We are getting um, towards the end of our section here, Lily. So, unfortunately, I'm also going to have to give you the boot. Um, but, so if you will please select a question. Okay, I'll take him there. What's your favorite L line and why? Favorite L line is the blue line. The Logan Square stop, the best stop out there. It is. Grew up in the Logan Square stop, and I love the blue line. I love the blue line, too. I just live one away from Logan Square, but it's close enough, close enough. So um, we are going to transition now into our service spotlight, which this, this uh, Tuesday is on um, admissions. So up here you will see... Uh, a screen print of the City Year website. Uh, when you go to www.cityyear.com or cityyear.org/join-us, um, this page is going to come up. Um, so our Year of Powerful Service starts here, where you can find information about City Year. You can attend a virtual open house. Um, you can see all the important dates you need to know for the application process. Um, and if you check out the website uh, and decide that you want to know more, we'd love to have you at our open house, which is Wednesday. February 3rd um, from 4 to 6 p.m. Oh, at 4 and 6 p.m. Excuse me, at 4 and 6 p.m. Um, right. So, thank you very much for joining City Year. Unfortunately, we are running out of time for our show this week, uh, but please tune in same time next Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. here on Can TV 21. Um, and call in with your questions, uh, anything you have for the hosts, for the guests that we have on. Um, we love to hear you, um, so please do give us a call. Uh, and finally, we're just going to end here with our recruitment website. Um, if I get it. Here we go. Sorry about that delay, everybody. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how you can give a year and change the world with City Year Chicago, please visit www.cityyear.org slash join us or call our recruitment manager, the lovely Stephanie Chavez at 312-423-7179.